Alrighty guys, so for today's video, we are back on Galanor, a juicy pre EOC RuneScape private server, offering loads of content, a great community as well. If you would like to check it out, guys, links are down below. Right now, holding 60 players and um, well over 75 plus like every day, so definitely recommend. Now, today, I'll be doing some Tombs of Masket with Relics, guys. Brand new content here released, and it's freaking hype. A beautiful pre EOC server offering just great content like i said so click links down below guys hope you all enjoyed today's video and with that being said last video um we did a big giveaway as well and that winner is going down below for today we're gonna do two of 50 dollars deals so very big make sure and like the video comment down below your gallon IGN, and subscribe to be eligible also notified the first comment will walk away with the free owner box but let's hop into it hope you guys enjoy well, let's go now we also have a lot of uh, different relics that were just released here as well which i will be putting into use right now so we have a, a relic of defense we'll go ahead and activate relic of a uh, tombs of musket and on that relic of magic we can uh, get these activated once we uh, hop in at coa so uh, let's do it also the current invocation soft core run walk for it quiet prayers ancient haste and i think that's all we're gonna run yeah so for invocations, the Wardens will uh, charge at a faster rate in the first phase of the fight, increasing raid level by 10. We'll have Quiet Prayers, which will protection prayers will be 10% uh, less effective within the raid. And um, increases raid level by 20. And Walk For It sets a 16 minute time limit of the raid. So we have to complete it within 16 minutes or we will fail. Soft Core limits the overall number of attempts that you can make within the raid to 3. An attempt is failed if every member of the party dies during a challenge. That'll also increase the raid level by 15. Let's freaking hop into it. All right. Beautiful tombs of a musket. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, so you can claim stuff right there. The helpful spirit. It'll actually just give you supplies as well. We're trying not to get hit by these orbs that are falling out of this bad boy. Pretty sure that's how it works. Let's do it. Also, uh, UFO is incoming. This guy has done old school RuneScape TOA, so he kind of is a... Uh, pretty familiar with how this works you can kind of uh, tell when like an attack is going to happen like all these little uh glowing effects around the area do not be in that i would assume so ella dennis warden has now appeared this bad boy does use different prayers he'll see attack range which means right now we need to use magic he will also shoot out different stuff so you can see we're uh changing out prayers right now oh it's magic isn't it yeah so you have to watch uh, ella dennis warden to know what attacks he's actually throwing out at us. He's also taking our prayers off, etc. Alright, a lot going on. But we're figuring it out. Alright, there we go. Now we got ourselves the uh, core. It's always good when you are learning uh, something like this. To have somebody that's actually done it at least before. He hasn't done it on, um, you know, Galanor. But he's done it on the real game itself. So he's definitely quite familiar. The core is pretty much its heart. He knows what he's doing here. He's definitely helping me out, so... Shout out to Mr. Anguish. Now we are using magic and the boss is using magic prayer. Not sure this is going to work out too well. Make sure you bring all combat styles. It will be needed. Anyways, we're almost done with the Oblis. Then we'll fight the Warden once more. We got all combat styles now, so we should be good. All right, we should be freaking good. There we go. Now we got ourselves. Why is this gonna be the final boss? I think. Watch towels. All right, all right. We're figuring this out for sure. So I think it's the same order each time. Then you'll also throw out these uh, energy siphons. So okay, yeah, let's take them out. We gotta take the energy siphons out. You gotta do it in a certain style, which was melee right there. All right, all right, all right. Back to the towel game. Let's do it. Homie died. Can Rex you finish? Come on, Rex you. Come on, Rex you. Let's freaking go. Good luck. Oh, unfortunately. But anyways, guys, the alligator will shoot red orbs, pray mage, rocks his range, and Bob on the side will drop rocks occasionally. Anguish is super MVP of this video, I will say to you guys. So much love to him. We also turned on no help needed. We're going to do one more, guys. And um, yeah, we're turning up the invocations a bit. 
If you check out summary, it'll pretty much show you everything about the raid, modifiers, etc. Restrictions. So our current invocations will make the warden's attack faster and oblique in the middle more potent. Bro, we can't even eat food in this invocation. Oh, we complete it. So I should hopefully stay alive. Yo, good luck, brother. We are actual beasts, dude. Me and homie actually got this stuff down. We got this down together. Duo squad. All right, duo squad. Let's do it. Let's get a rare and um, yeah. No, F. Well, all right. He didn't get a rare either. But alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the video. Me and um, Anguish had a lot of fun doing duos. So yeah, if you guys wanna hop online, have some fun as well, make sure and click those links down below. Definitely a load of fun. New relics were released, guys. So much new stuff. They have a, a custom raid as well that was also just released, which I covered last video. Having loads of fun here on Galanor. It's a top pre-EOC. So click links down below. I'll see you on the next one. And peace.